Welcome to its traffic. In this video, we are going to discuss about chapter 2 HTML part 1. Here we'll discuss about web development and different kind of web development plus the languages that are used in here. So let us begin with web development. Web means uh, whatever things you see on the internet through your browser or any other app like Facebook, Instagram, these are known as web. So who are developing this type of uh, services, they are known as web developer. In web development, you can build different type of apps, for example, shopping, social networking, chatting, then e-commerce, etc. Web developer are, get, uh, mainly we can get two kinds front-end developer and back-end developer also one more is there that is not mentioned in your book that is full stack developer actually full stack developer is a person who do both front and end so let us uh, come to first front-end development in front-end development we make the front side of a software means the looks and appearance it gives the UI to the user to use the services means uh, Front-end developer are responsible to represent the content to the end user that is us. Here we can use HTML, CSS and JavaScript to develop the apps. After that comes backend developer and this type of developers are responsible to store and retrieve the information from the server and serve it to the front-end developer through which front-end developer will use presentation language and they will represent in front of you. So in back-end developer, we can use different kind of languages. Some of them are Python, Java, JavaScript, Ruby, PHP, c -Sharp, etc. And there are many kinds. These are the main one. Nowadays, even uh, we can use JavaScript both the sides. We can use in front as well as in back in front we can use react js and back we can use node js after that comes front end development here mainly there are three types of languages html css and javascript html it gives structure to our document it is the main language to create web pages after that comes css cascade style sheet it is responsible to give style to our document css nowadays in css also we are getting different kind of css there are some library also where we don't have to write the all the commands just we'll call the style for example bootstrap and javascript it is a scripting language which make our web page dynamic just by using html and css we can make just static web page but if we want to do some dynamic work for example suppose i want to display the current date on my web page or i want to wish the user according to some festivals or according to the daytime like in morning good morning in afternoon good afternoon like that way then also we can use javascript javascript also have different kind of libraries or framework for example react angular this also we can use for front-end front-end development and even uh, Facebook uh, I think iOS have their own framework to develop the front UI that is called flutter now we'll come to the first language that is HTML what is HTML it is a markup language that is used to develop web page in HTML we have three parts hypertext markup and language hypertext refers the way HTML allow you to link a piece of text to other parts of your document or even other documents entirely through hyperlinks means hypertext means actually to making links so you will see when you open any website by using browser or any kind of search engine there you will get different links if you click on the link you will move to some other web page and even on that web page also you will get some other links you will if you click there you will again move to some other web pages so that is called as hypertext then markup it refers to the way html use text to markup to annotate content define the structure and presentation so how will markup the text by 
writing the text between the angular brackets. Language, it is the rules that we have to follow while we are creating the web page. Then we'll come to the type of text in HTML document. While we are writing HTML documents, we are getting mainly two kind of text. One is content, one is markup. Content that we see on the page and markup, they are the tag that defined some definition or structure to the browser that is understood by the browser that we don't see on the out output. Only we can see the content in output markup part that will be understood by the browser and it will do the formatting according to that. As you can see here in this example, h1 and closing h1 that to our markup and uh, hello world that is content. When we open this piece of code by using browser, we will see only hello world and h1 and closing h1 will be vanish or will be not there in the output. This is just a piece of markup tag that understood by the browser h1 means heading level 1 and according to that uh, browser will do the formatting work. Why HTML? Why we have to learn HTML? To create web page, to become a designer, to understand the web and also by using HTML we can learn some other languages for example DHTML, XML, XHTML, SGML, etc. Now before learning any language or before learning anything we must show some gratitude or respect to the person who is behind it. In HTML the person is Tim Berners-Lee. He is responsible to develop many things. These are HTTP, www, W3C, URL system. Even he developed the first website and HTML was first introduced in 1991. Next uh, features, so what are the features or advantage also we can say, why we will learn HTML, because it is very easy and HTML can be embedded multimedia elements such as images, videos and animations. And one of its most powerful feature is to link document from one to other. And uh, HTML document can be displayed on variety of dif uh, devices. It can be a mobile phone, it can be a tablet, it can be a PC or laptop or any kind of electronic devices which can display the output. This is also called as cross-platform language. It work in Windows, Linux, Mac or any kind of operating system. HTML is case sensitive. So we don't have to care about whether we are writing in capital letter or small letter. You have already learned C language there you have seen. If you are writing printf in sentence case means P capital other or small then it does not work. But it is not like that with HTML. It will work. Whether you are writing in capital letter or small letter. <coughs> Editors mainly will get two kind of editor. What you see is what you get and text editor. What you see is what you get is like uh, while you are making a presentation, PowerPoint presentation, at that time what you do, you don't write any command, right? Just you drag and drop, you insert picture, you insert table, you choose the color from the ribbon. So this way you make the page. So this similar way what you see is what you get editor. There you just design your web page and you work with it. Text editor. Here you will have to write all the code yourself, for example, Notepad, Sublime, etc. And uh, the next part will continue in next video. There we will learn some basic commands, the basic structure, different type of tag, etc. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you in a new video. Till then, take care and bye.